How's it going everyone? This is Tom. Now I get a ton of questions about how I produce my videos, what's the best way to produce my videos, some of the effects that I use in my videos. So I thought that I'm going to be doing this series uh, and it's basically just show you how I do certain things that I've used in my videos and uh, I'll take the things which kind of get asked the most both in the YouTube comments down below and also on Twitter. So the first uh, kind of effect that we're going to take a look at is called motion tracking. Now you can do that with this with a kind of variable amount of programs. You can do it with uh, Adobe After Effects, which I'm going to be using here. Uh, you can also do it with Motion 5. So if you'd like me to produce a Motion 5 tutorial as well, just definitely leave that down below in the comments. But the effect I've recently used in one of my Cydia Tweak episodes, and uh, it looks a little something like this. So as you can see, I get this kind of bulge of the text out. It kind of scales up and then it tracks according to the iPhone as you can see over here, and that basically just when the iPhone moves, the text is kind of like it's attached to it, and just gives a really cool effect, and uh, it's a little bit more interesting than just some static text on the screen if you're talking about something. So that's what we're going to be learning how to do today. It's quite a simple effect, it won't take very long. So we'll jump into After Effects, make sure you've got a new composition set up. Uh, you get your footage, so I'm using the same clip that I had there, and I will show you how to make it. So we can adjust this according to uh, where our iPhone comes in or something. As you can see here, it's actually uh, a little bit too big for the screen, so we'll just scale that down, hitting S, and then I believe 66.7 is roughly the size which we need for a 720p composition, which is what I've got here. So we're going to cut it around about here, um, just like that, by hitting uh, Command-Shift-D, and that cuts the clip up into there. Okay, so now we've got the kind of bare composition. Uh, we've got the hand coming out with the iPhone, and that's where we need roughly around uh, where we need the scale to come up with our text. So what we're going to do is hit Command T. That will bring up our text uh, inserter, and we can just type out, for example, uh, Cydia. We'll just do it with Cydia. We won't put the tweaks, uh, but just as simple as that, you can style the font as much as you want or anything like that. I'm just going to scale this up a little bit. And uh, what we're actually going to do, because I'm going to show you how to scale, do the scale effect as well, that is of course just using keyframes, so pretty simple. Uh, but what we're going to want to do is if we just zoom in, we're going to want to bring the uh, little kind of crosshair uh, that's the best kind of thing I can describe it. As you can see, I've got this kind of crosshair in the middle into the center of the text. And that means that when it scales, it will scale into that point. That's the center of the text uh, from After Effects point of view so that you don't have to scale it into a uh, into the corner like it would be by default. So uh, as you see, that's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to get add a scale keyframe just there. Uh, excuse me, actually, we're going to decrease this to zero first of all, then add a scale keyframe. And we're going to want to go on about kind of 10 frames-ish. It's not really important on the actual number, but uh, we'll go to about there. And then I think it was 140 that we had that on. So that will give us the scale in effect just like that. And then if we can, uh, I'm going to apply an ease and whiz transition. This is a plugin that you can get offline, but you can just apply like this and it will kind of give you a a bit of a uh, acceleration deceleration it's a, just a very cool plugin gives you a bit more uh, kind of effect into the uh, transitions or tra uh, the transformations that you're doing i'm also going to apply motion blur to this so that it does actually motion blur as well so pretty cool right now we get on to the tracking once that bit's done we are going to just go into tracking so we're going to go window tracker and that will bring up the tracking thing down here. So you're going to want to select your movie file or your whatever you've used, uh, your actual source of your actual clip itself, and you're going to want to click track motion. So once it's done that, uh, you can just bring up this little box. It will bring up this little box. So let's zoom in here. Let's bring that out a bit. Um, and you want to pick a point which has a nice point of kind of high contrast. So something like this, which is just different from some of this kind of stuff around it. So the speaker grill of the iPhone there will work well. And after we do that, we will just, uh, so, so you, as you can see, it's chosen the current track, the track one. And the track type 
will be transform, just like that. You can play around with the position, rotation, and scale. I'm just going to use this as pres uh, as position, as that's going to be fine for what I'm needing for this particular clip. And then we're going to analyze forward, and I'll fast forward through this. Okay, so once it's done analyzing, you can just go ahead and apply it to your layer. You should have uh, your motion source and your target, motion target, should automatically pick that up. However, you may need to change it, and you can just do that by the edit target button. I'm going to apply it, just like that, dimensions X and Y, yes. And then you see that we're actually going to get a load of uh, tracking things like this. It's kind of just going to make the text go crazy, loads of keyframes. Uh, and we'll close off the clip there. Uh, go into our position and you should see this moving however we're going to go ahead and just move this a bit okay so we can just kind of move this around according to um, where we need it and then if we scale up we should see that when this comes in it goes like this and then we'll scale or move according to the track that has been given to it by the motion tracking and as you can see it's moving along with this uh, so as you would imagine it now this isn't a perfect track only because uh, I didn't actually intend this to be a motion tracked shot now if you're doing motion tracking I would advise that you uh, think about what you're shooting before you shoot it because I uh, chose the speaker grill of the iPhone however you may need to play around with this and there might be a spot of better contrast in your shot so just think about that kind of stuff because uh, that wasn't an ideal spot to pick and I thought about that a lot more in my um, actual when I did it for my actual video to make sure the track was pretty much perfect uh, and you may need to play around with some rotation and scale stuff as well so pretty simple it's a very easy trick to pull off and it actually gives a kind of a really cool effect but there we have it, that's the basic idea of how to motion track some text in After Effects. So again, if you'd like me to do more videos like this, definitely be sure to leave a comment down below. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.